Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Juan Motivates. Yo, man, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I don't care what you, I don't care if you just, this ain't clickbait anyway, but I don't know if the thumbnail got you, whatever. Thank you for stopping by, man. If you like and you're into radiology and you think about radiology, you think about being a barber, um, you came to the right channel. That's what I usually, you know, make videos about because that's what I'm into at the moment. Um, I'm a radiology tech by, by career wise and I'm going into barbering for, I guess my second career, you can say. And um, I'm in the process of that, of going through that now. So if you like that kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscription button and the notification bell because I try to post at least twice a week if I can. Usually um, I post from work, as you can see, I'm at work right now. So, you know, this is a radiology department, you know, so <laughs> I'm at work. So, um, so I try to post at work when I'm in the ER duty. But um, anyway, man, if you like that kind of content, guys, females, I don't care, just, uh, yeah. just subscribe man you know what i'm saying <laughs> but anyway today i wanted to make a video because somebody had left the comment about um can introverts be um a radiology tech and um honestly it is it is doable it is doable. that's the beauty about the medical field whether you want to be radiology nursing um radiology, radiology and nursing well maybe radiology because nursing if you want to be introvert it's kind of hard because there's no real way to be an introvert and you be a nurse because you always have to constantly be in contact, communication with patients, excuse me, patient doctors, etc., family members, whatever, right? So, and radiology is different though because to be an introvert, I'm a, um, what, I think was the proper word, extrovert? I don't know. I love to talk to people, man. I'm nosy. I love to go, you know, meet new people if I go to a patient's room and you know all the family members there i acknowledge every single one of them i'm like hey how you doing my name is so and so i'm here to do you know patients you know x-ray you know blah blah so i'm i'm very i'm very vocal man i love to talk to people i love to meet new people that's just the way i've always been that's me so this field is perfect for me barbering is perfect for me because i love to i love to um to just kick with people man and talk you know, and um, I know a lot of people aren't like that, you know. Um, so at, at introvert, the cool thing about radiology, right, is for the first two years, there's no introvert. You, you have to you have to put that to the side for a second because you're going to have to be in class. You're going to have to talk to your classmate, classmates. You have to like, um, uh, how can I explain it? Like um, get together and get like uh, study groups. You have to form study groups. You have to form networking. You're gonna have to know who your classmates are. When you start going to clinicals, man, you're gonna have to know who you all the techs that work there. You're gonna have to know all the supervisors, the the directors. You have to want you network. You, that's what you have to do at first, right? Now, if you're an introvert, man, you can get through your through your two years of school. The cool thing about radiology, man, is you can work evenings. And the cool th so let me tell you the different shifts, right? Evenings overnights, weekends, hospital wise. The cool thing about that is that if you work, if you're an introvert and you, and you work three to 11, nobody's here. You're 99% by yourself. Or if you have another tech, it's just two of you, two of you. And then the other tech is basically like a midday tech. So that person might be from nine to nine. So from three to 11, you might have somebody till nine and from nine to 11, you'd be alone or the overnight tech comes in and overlaps, you know? And um, that's a cool shift for an introvert. Overnight is a cool shift for an introvert because you don't deal with nobody. You know, you just by yourself. Um, it depends how big your hospital is. 99% of the time though, you're by yourself as an overnight tech. So if you're an introvert dude and you're by yourself or female, whoever it is, perfect shift. Um, weekend as well. Weekends, I work weekends and uh, it's only three of us as full as in the department, but one of us have ER duty, one I have portable and OR duty, and then our supervisor. You know, so we're all spread out and all of us are doing our thing, you know what I'm saying? So that's a cool, um, that's a cool shift for an introvert. Also, another cool shift of an introvert will be like um, just urgent care or imaging center. Imaging center, all you, all you do is deal with patients one by one, scheduled, you go in and be like, so-and-so, my name is so-and-so, I'm gonna do an extra of your foot, or I'm gonna do an extra of your chest. Boom, in and out, two, three minutes, maybe five the most, to be honest. Um, shouldn't take you that long to do an x-ray. Um, well, it depends, you know, I can't say that because 
depends if it's spine work, whatever, and how old the patient is, how much, how fast they move, you know, things like that. But for the most part, man, it's it's quick in and out. You're done. Um, the urgent care might be a little tougher because the urgent care, like say for instance, uh, Med Express, um, it's a little different. You can't be an introvert there because you have to do a little bit of everything as far as like you got to do vitals, check the patient in. Um, because their their x-ray is seldomly. You don't do x-rays all the time. And so you have to learn how to do all the other stuff, you know, in order to be, in order for you to continue to work there type thing. So that might not be too good. And uh, they don't pay very well. But um, I'm not just saying that particular company. I don't think urgent carers pay what hospitals will pay because you don't get differential pay. Um, you don't get over, well, you probably get overtime pay, but you don't get differential pay. You don't get the, you know, all the best benefits. Um, so it's a, it's a lot to deal with. There's nothing against urgent care. You know, I respect every profession, every every company. So there's no disrespect or anything. Um, and the other cool thing about being in radiology and if you're an introvert, man, is the fact that you don't spend too much time with the patient. You know, and I think that's the coolest part of our job. And not that we don't like patients. It's not like it's not that. But you know, um, for instance, I'm in the ER right today, so I have ER duty. So all I do is run a portable all day. Big machine, 99.9% .9 of your images or, or exams are gonna be portable chest x-rays, one view chest x-rays, that's what you're gonna do all day. So I probably average like 30 chest x-rays when I'm in the ER. And so a few extremities, we've been getting a lot of hips lately though, a lot of hip, hips and pelvises. Those are a little hard to do portable, but you can do them. Um, so basically you go in the patient's room and be like, hey, my name is so-and-so, I'm here to do a chest x-ray, I'm gonna put a heart plate behind your back, blah, blah, pull the patient forward, sometimes they can move freely, at the ER, sometimes they can move pretty freely, put them back there, a hey, taking a deep breath in, hold it, expose, you're done. Have a blessed day, and I wish you the best, you know, hope you feel better, you know, and go on. And you So the introvert for radiology is, if you wanna be in a medical field, right, and you're an introvert, I think radiology is possibly the best, um, the best mode, the best field, you know, even if you're in the OR, if you're in the OR and you're in the C arm, um, they, they don't even acknowledge you, man, to be honest. The only time they acknowledge is when like, hey, okay, x-ray, or, uh, okay, you can go ahead and fluoro, or, you know, so 99% of the time, the nurses aren't around helping a surgeon, the surgeon has his own PA, and then you have a anesthesiologist doing her job or his job, and you are in the corner, just chilling, and to the to the surgeons like okay now we need x-ray put your machine in there okay floral plume okay back out boom and you're fighting another five ten minutes just chilling so dude anybody out there man introvert radiology is awesome the only time you really had to do um patient like not pa you always do patient care but the only time you really had to be with the patient for a while is when you do floral when you do floral you have bear, um small bowel series esophagrams this is a little longer maybe 10 minutes small bowel series are a little longer because you have to do a picture every 15 minutes so every 15 every 30 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour whatever so the patient stays there until like the two hour mark and then after that they send them up to the room and then they bring down come down i think to like four hours or whatever you can do it portably whatever the case depends how big the patient is but for the for the most part radiology is probably the not that i think about it i've been talking the whole time radiology is possibly the best career choice for an introvert to be honest now that i think about it but um for all my people out there introverts um i uh, hope that this helped you guys i hope that this you know i know i talk a lot but i try to give you as much information as i can when i get questions like this so i just try to throw it out there but um i hope this helped and uh, as always thank you for watching guys